May 25th, uh, 2023 it is. Thai royals are deeply, deeply embedded in a Hollywood, deeply embedded in a Hollywood in the United States of America through this case. They got to also know journalism. Uh, people build themselves connections through this case. They became American celebrities. In case you did not know that, Thai royals, I am going to portion of the family immigrated to the United States of America uh, next to the torture they engaged in on American soil against me. Uh, they built connections beyond any kind of possibilities these people could actually hope for. Uh, now, this video is dedicated to the grandfather of Princess Boyrakiti Abba. Baira Kitty Abba, princess, a Thai princess that is in coma since December the 14th of 2022. Oh, so we're uh, roughly talking about six months now. Um, we are roughly talking about the beginning of 2009, 2008, when Princess Baira Kitty Abba uh, decided that after all, the marriage to me could not be yet uh, implemented. Yeah, in 2008, a, a beautiful honey from Thailand uh, last time. It was not last time, it was, it was just a lie and lie and lie and lie and lie. Basically, they used females to get me in a certain country. Um, they used females at the top to push other females away, uh, females that otherwise would, were interested in something serious. And they were using the females to the well-established uh, taste for the female. So that after every extensive torture I would go, depending on a country, uh, prior to exposing me out of the country, uh, they would always to calm me down. Uh, so it would all appear like as natural as possible. They would deliver me to the female that would appeal to me, and then they would troll me with that female, then they would return me back to. Everybody was doing this, United Nations was doing this, Human Rights Watch was doing this, Amnesty International was doing it, it wasn't about a country only. Uh, it was just a regular procedure, it was just, this was just a merciless uh, torture, killing, systematic killing is what this was. Uh, so, it's important for me to stress the following issue, which uh, was to be used by the Vladimir Putin, to whom uh, Thai King Bumibol served since 1990. Since I remember this man, this man uh, was in the pants of Russian KGB, since I remember this individual, he was giving all the wrong impressions about being on some kind of opposite side, so he would radicalize. Basically, Russians have used King Bumibol, uh, a Thai King Bumibol, uh, to radicalize me as much as possible. It was even psychiatrists, people that observed this, that claimed me, uh, if you will continue down the road with the King Bumibol of Thailand uh, just so that you know that you will become mentally ill. Uh, he is evil, he is satanic, he is doing this to you so that 
he could radicalize you as much as possible. And he possibly, they stated me, could also have been a real schizophrenic. The word is about this individual here. This is a Thai king, uh, previous ex-king of Thailand. His name is a Bumibol. Bumibol Adulayade, Adulayade Bumibol. This is the man, yeah? Here, this is the guy. And I was really so naive, so stupid, that I actually started to believe in this Russian and uh, non-Russian, and it was idiotic of me, I completely admit this, because this was the man who was on my side, and no wonder, against Russians in Moscow. So do you think the statement like this would actually be on somebody's side in Moscow uh, against Russians? This man... Um, you're gonna be, you're gonna make your own decision about how you're gonna see this individual as, um, but um, this individual, when it comes to the Hollywood, uh, when it comes to American connections that he managed to build with his family throughout the United States of America, uh, he's got very much this individual who inherited his kingdom but acted already as a king it was the same situation as in between prince charles now king charles and his mother queen elizabeth um this individual i would say that he had his father but yeah his father started to king boomy ball yeah uh, this individual here we were at yeah he started to sometimes in two thousand and ten Bumi Ball went on and started to video record a series of that's why I stated this was to benefit, this is this is the legacy. This is basically a testament that Bumibol and his son King Maha left to Ruskis to the Russia, yeah. Because this was the stuff that these individuals. Once I would bring this onto the picture, and that's why they did this shit. Uh, it would help Russians to say, "Ah, oh, look, it's a." It's a, it's a conspiracy against us, you know? There's no fucking conspiracy. The only thing is what I'm about to tell you about this individual, about his death, basically. This individual was looking for a place to disappear. Either that would be India or it would be Brazil. He was just desperately looking for a place to disappear already since sometimes in 2005 but i would not prevent an individual to go on and video record himself in 2008 2010 in united states of america he would get a private he would get he would contract with private uh, journalists companies and so on that they would represent thailand in his through his eyes and popped himself in front of the camera next to me video recording a series of uh, a documentary that was that shit went on for on and on and on for about like three years maybe with some i don't know the cnn i don't think it was it was some other broadcasting company big company they subcontract i i would know which one it was yeah and it was about why he's going to disappear uh, he officially died in 2016. But what I'm talking about is why he is going to disappear. He is going to disappear, according to his words, in 2008, when he was, he, it was 2008. Uh, 
you had this public broadcaster from the United States of America, where they also had me on the show. Well, it would be because uh, he was too much on my side. He was too much supporting me on my side. He was, uh, he became an enemy of the Russians and he had to disappear. But that, uh, upon a victory of the West, Western allies, NATO allies, uh, he would have his tape as a proof, basically, because it was video recorded in front of me, and it was intended to rationalize me, uh, love of, of his granddaughters or whatever, how all, uh, I, I, I don't understand the part about all, because these people haven't done to me nothing other than evil, uh, but it was all for my sake. It was all for my sake, so it will finally make sense when the NATO will defeat uh, Russia. Um, excuse me, I don't know anything about this stuff. Russia has a nuclear arms and stuff, and that's exactly what Russia hoped for, exactly the video this individual wanted me to talk about. And I am talking about, I'm just not talking about in a context this individual wanted me to talk about. Uh, so that prove his unconditional love to me, his devotion to me, his loyalty to me as a loyal supporter. Let me explain to you something else. This was for you to piss in your pants. Uh, if you would be drugged up, and I was, that somebody would be talking to you about how he is building uh, a software so that you can use one on your Android uh, so that you can attach spy cam through the USB onto your fucking Android and record under your shirt. This is this was the support. The Germans the Germans branded him as your support. This will be your support. This is your support. Now this beyond fucked up, beyond bizarre shit. Angela Merkel decided that Thailand is your support. What kind of support, motherfucker? What support? Well, what? These people help. Slovenian police to torture me on a Thailand even, not only here. These people participated in torture here in Slovenia. These people assisted psychiatrists in killing me, basically. So what kind of help, man? They were making fun of the fucking donation page, which I listed one on my blog. When I was inside of the psychiatric hospital, when even everything, even the fucking video views, numbers were blocked, everything, everything was fucked up. They wanted to erase me in all the cars. What fucking support are you talking about? What the fuck? Eh? That I'm going to go and I'm going to secretly video, you're going to video record. I paid the money for it, man, so that you can do something. Eh? You aren't doing anything. This is the shit that went on under MK Ultra. You're fucking doing anything. So what am I supposed to do? Walk around with a spy camera and video record people, man. This is the support. And he was paying stolen money from me to the IT people from India to convert snake cams, a fucking endoscope software into the USB possibility to connect to the Android, that kind of shit. And we're fucking doing nothing. You're doing nothing. You're doing nothing. And started to proclaim himself as a freedom lover. The one that fucking goes around the Christ that's fucking dealing software for free to the people of the world. 
so they can video record undercover. Man, why the fuck do we need so many human rights agencies and organizations over the past three decades that they developed like a thousand different all kinds of all sorts of human rights agencies and bureaus and all kinds of shit all over the what the fuck happened? Is it like world so much better off or is it like worse and worse situation because there's so many wars that we have gone through and it appears like this isn't about to stop but it's accelerating i would have thought that that would be exactly the contrary but thanks to these people with all the free stuff and all the stuff that he proclaimed himself as a as a as a coming uh, messiah you know and his son proclaimed himself as a Rama X. Yeah, he's a 10. He's a Rama, the 10. And X, that's for X files. You know, X files is like X files, MK Ultra, X files. And that's when you become a king and the daughter marry you and this and that. He did. They invested money in some a fucking pocket money, dude, uh, to some to some Indian IT people companies in the India that they earned money back and interest back, and uh, it was all for the humanitarian reasons. Never mind that money was stolen. That money is stolen, but yeah. Uh, the most important was that I was not fucking doing anything, and. That's how he presented me. He presented me to the world like mentally retarded. He's a mentally retarded. He's not doing anything. He's not doing anything. And in 2016, he no longer could. In 2015, no longer. It did not work. Hospitalization, as I started to talk about more and more and more and more about MKUltra, once they threw me inside a psychiatric hospital. And I couldn't. Beer other than saliva running out of my mouth is gonna fucking explode my internal organs from this whatever they used on me and I didn't stop. Uh the motherfucker figure out would be the best to just disappear through the death certificate. File for the death certificate was a cancer. It was a cancer, he claimed. And again, I was guilty because I haven't done my part. He was yelling, screaming at me in his residence in Thailand before officially was written off, basically, whatever the hell he is. His movie from 2008, from 2010, which is well documented in the United States of America, where I'm going to find out which network that was, <laughs> was to prove that he was on my side, that he was supporting me, but he implemented brainwash because he was so much more uh, because of the coming war in Ukraine. Uh, he had to disappear from the public picture because it would be dangerous for the Thailand. You know, it would be dangerous for the Thailand. So he had to disappear from the picture and hand everything to his son, Maha, who always was open friend with the Russians. Um, he is not so much open friend to the Russians. And that's basically why I am recording. I'm, I'm not recording this. I got to get the hold of these videos, that boomy ball video, where you're going to give me that fucking videos, whatever the fuck you have. Maybe it was Fox, maybe it was, I'm not sure which one it was, but I'm going to get a hold of these videos, because this is important, where he rationalized all these issues, how he was on my side, and he was supporting me, and he was, and this and that, he was making a whole fucking show. Three years he was working on it. Finally, in 2016, he disappeared. Um, in 2008, Princess Bairakiti Abba could not marry me under any circumstances because it was a special request they received from the Germans uh, that the, it must have been from the Germans. It must have been. It must have been from the Germans. It must have been from the Germans. Let me explain to you how this stuff was from the Germans. It must have been from the Germans. It works like this. 
uh, King Bumibol and his son Maha repeatedly visited Serbia and Montenegro. They started to loudly daydream about uh, assembling back with the Milan Kurtan with the Putin. Uh, a greater Serbian Chetnik state previously known as a Yugoslavia. Yeah, and it's, as you can see here, Banco Coast started to write shit again about something that really is none of their business, basically. They continue to stick nose into internal matters of Balkans, uh, where is none of their business. And they continue to stick nose to steer more problems from what you see right there. Uh, but now this is about for me to demonstrate to you how this royal Thai house, how they work. Um, it says here, uh, Yingluk gets Serbian uh, citizenship. Uh, who is she? She is uh, wanted by Thailand opposition. Uh, this is a thief, they say. Shinavatra is wanted by the Thai authorities for stealing the money and all kinds of stuff like this, you know? Uh, and so, this picture and this picture here are to be rather associated if anybody was to uh, since they knew I will be talking about. And this year was published on May the 23rd of 2023. And it was about a month earlier more when I started to talk about King Maha and his father Bumibol visiting Serbia repeatedly in Montenegro. How much they loved there. Uh, it was so great. They did not like Slovenia and they did not like Croatia. The two countries, they didn't like us. Uh, but they did found great friends in Serbia and in Montenegro. This is this was the thing, and they started to see Serbia uh, as a Siam, as a Thailand, and how great it would have been to fuck me, maybe if only would have been possible more and bring greater Serbian Chetnik state back on a picture, uh, if necessary, even through the new war on Balkans. But for that matter. King of Thailand never wanted to look suspicious. These people never look suspicious. They are so into conspiracy theories, they paint people like this on a picture instead. When they start to do dirty stuff like this, to look like somebody who, uh, you know, that's like they're on the right side and so on, that, that it's, it's, uh, it's, it's not them. It's somebody from Thailand that's doing that kind of stuff, but it's not them. You know, this is exactly identical picture as to the one that applies to the Princess Bayra Kitiaba and her sister, Siri Vanavari, who mercilessly, mercilessly have uh, I'm not going to say cheat, but they did nothing other than solicited for the Russia against Ukraine. But before the war, in just on time, knowing about the war coming, got a wrong country right now that would be probably brunei i'm going to demonstrate you how they work you know where they are from this people uh this people this this thai royal family do you know where they are from they're from here it's called brunei there are two things one place is they claim that thai royals originally are from brunei and another one from 
uh, Bhutan from Nepal. They, that's what I was told they originate from Brunei and from Nepal. I'm going to demonstrate you how they operate. Oksana Vojvodnia. Rihana, Russian Rihana. Is a Russian model who is the former wife of the Sultan Mohammed V. Kelenta. Uh, Voivodina, Voivodina, that means like a Voivoda, that means like a ruler, it means like an emperor, uh, if translated from the Ruski. Emperor Mayes. This is Muhammad V. He was so disgraced. Knowing about coming war, eventually that he stepped down. So he wouldn't be suspicious. He resigned as the 15th king, effective to January 6. Majesty has resigned as of the 15th king, effective to January 6. This is he personally have stated me that's exactly what he will do. Till the war in Ukraine is over. And then Possibly, perhaps, likely, he will take his place back. January 6, the article is more than four years old, so he abdicated because he knew about a Russian massacre coming in Ukraine, over Ukraine. So when I say to you this stuff about the boomy ball, whoa, for whom I had the right to believe he's alive. I refuse to acknowledge he's dead. I have the right to believe he's alive. And if he is not alive, his documentaries are in American archive, in a public TV, in a public, public uh, media, they have them. What idea that it was just the best for me, uh, for him actually, for my sake, yeah, it was, it was for my sake because he had so much influence on me. Uh, a Thai King Bumi Ball, fuck me. It's it, actually, this is impossible to even explain what this individual did to me. This is individual who radicalized me because he bullied me in front of the Russians that I became even more wild. I would give in anything, but when this individual started to play with me during MK Ultra, he 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 made me so radical uh, that as well as mine could have been the reason for Russians 
uh, when hijacked in Russia in 1992, uh, in 93 have possibly, 92, 93 possibly have even done a surgical procedure on me in the left arm that left me with a cancer for life. It was exactly this king from Thailand, the one who radicalized me so much. And he wanted to see what he did against me as he wanted to look big in the eyes. He also make an impression on people. He claimed that because of what I did to you is the best for me to just disappear from the picture. So you're going to be alone in the picture so that they are not going to be thinking about the two of us. Because if they'll be thinking about the two of us, you know, about you and me, you and me, there never was you and me, there never was any fucking you and me. There always was I who paid for everything. There always was somebody who was Christ for the Thailandese dollars from the United States of America, from London, and for the Russia for the oil, for the gas, for all the money they profited and benefited from. I was the personal Christ, the one, the human doll, the human toy, the voodoo doll. You can do anything you want to and earn the money through butchering person. Everything for what Hitler was guilty of during the World War II, that's why it was Germans. That why, that's why it was Germans in 2008, the Princess Bayraki Diaba stated me, it was Germans who did this. It was Germans that demanded that, that uh, we cannot get married yet and so on and so forth. They had some kind of sick shit in their head that it was always Germany behind. They tried to instill in my head, always, it was always Germany the one that would not allow for us to get married. Yeah, and in fact, they were working with the Slovenian psychiatrists and police, one next to another, beating me up, death threatening me with the crocodiles, placing the revolvers on my forehead and so on, throwing me inside of the Thai jails and hospitalized where they mercilessly tortured. Their torture sessions range through the Thailand. For weeks would not be allowed to go to sleep. It was distributed through the area. Through the Thai royals. It was a whole underground network that opened throughout Asia. Thanks to these Thai royals. They financed to intensify crime as much against me as possible. So this is just a really, really important to acknowledge that this kind of writing about the future Yugoslavs is like talking about the future Soviets, you know, how they emerge in Serbia. And I bet this future Soviets also emerge in Russia. In this, of course, to be a Yugoslav or to be a Soviet, this is not a nationalism. This is not a national, of course, it's not a nationalism. This is rather comparable to the fascism, to the Nazism, not to the nationalism. So therefore, you now you have again Thai royals sticking their nose into the racial problems of this world, such as to the Western Hemisphere that pertains Germany with Dutch, with Scandinavians throughout the United States of America, who would love nothing more than bring back the Nazi swastika. Sticky nose into something for the sake of exactly perhaps Berlin, exactly perhaps London, exactly perhaps the neo-Nazis that are finally financing this kind of articles where it is equal, equated, it is equal, Sovietism, Yugoslavanism, with 
What exactly? Not even with a nationalism. So if it's not equal to the nationalism, what can possibly be this equal other than with the Nazism, with the fascism? Nazism is indoctrination, clean, racial, but it also could be ethnic due to fascism, ideology. Fascism is the closest one to the Nazism, racial purity. And when it comes to nationalism, nationalism is omnius. It's present everywhere. Without the nationalism, Nazism, fascism would prevail. And I said, German, financed by the Germans because if it's a Sovietism, if it's a Yugoslavanism, in the one is not nationalism, right? It says right there is not nationalism. Then it can only be when considered war on the Balkans, where it was massacre of Bosnian people, massacre of Croat people. They tried to massacre Slovenian people. They massacred Albanian, Kosovo people. Talking about the Serbs who did this stuff. When considered war in Ukraine today, where genocide is present everywhere, then it can only be equaled to the white nationalism. White nationalism, however, is a Nazism, in case you have not known. That's where the white, white, because it's white. That's why I refuse to acknowledge that I'm white. I am Eastern European. I do not consider myself as white. Calling me white is an insult. Calling me white means that my family, who was at a train station during the World War II, ready to be sent in Auschwitz. The family from grandfather's side, who was executive for resistance during the World War II, against the neo-Nazi occupation. He was a secretary during the occupation, German occupation here, who supply local partisans with the medication necessary for them to survive. As I stated, from my mother's side, her son was killed in a war, in a battle with the Germans. My grandma, who was a single mother, yeah, that's from the mother's side, also was a partisan since 1943. I registered. I have a proof for that, for what I stated. My grandfather was one of the highest decorated people in Yugoslavia in the post-World War II. His Military accomplishments during the World War II were rather, think of the envy from the people like Milan Kuchan, from the people like Stane Dolanz, from the people that, whose names are written all over the books in the grammar school that children have to learn about. So when you say nationalism, when you say white, you generalize. When you say white nationalism, there is no such thing as a white nationalism. There is only Nazism. But when it comes to ethnic nationalism, there is such thing as Hungarian, as Slovenian, as a Croat, as Italian. As German, if Austrians don't care, if Polish, Slovak, Romanian, or Russian, or Ukrainian, or whatever, and everybody, or India, or Indian, 
nationalist or Chinese nationalist or African Kenyan nationalist or from Mozambique or from Nigeria or whatever nationalist. We have the right to be proud about our roots, about our origins. It is no necessity to equal Yugoslavianism, therefore Sovietism, Soviet Union, Sovietism, Yugoslavianism, because you like your idea about the Siam. There is no need to equal one with prosperity, with uh, anything that would be that humanity would benefit from, especially when considering what this have done to the Balkans and what is doing today to Ukraine. And I find it particularly disgusting, particular odd, particularly hateful from Thailand to stick its nose and contemplate on another war on Balkans, which Thailand commenced. As for King Bumibor, how this should profit, what he wanted to, uh, uh, more, he wanted me to go out there and write an article, how he is, he demanded from me, how he is well, how he is alive, hiding somewhere, and uh, upon the war, upon the victory in Moscow, uh, on, on the Moscow Square, when the Ukraine, where the Ukrainians are going to parade in the Moscow Square, therefore he implied on a broader scale war that NATO would wage against the Russia. And, you know, that would only give, as myself being involved in this kind of stuff, with this Illuminati, it would only give a really, really bad deed to Ukraine. Hey, he would actually imply something. He was just desperate, man. He was just desperate to boost Vladimir Putin in this coming war against Ukraine. He was just fucking madman that did not know how he would benefit Russia in a war against, he hated Ukraine. I don't have anything else to say about this Thailand, he is about this Thai king. Yeah. Now they're sticking their nose literally through the people like I have demonstrated to you earlier. Also in internal matters of the Balkans. So this is just to alert countries in the Balkans, what Thailand is up to, what Thailand is doing. Thailand demanded for me to completely uh, submit myself to the Serbian politicians' uh, politic, for me to completely... Uh, this here, the same thing, this Oksana, Andrena, Vojvodina, and this and that, that I have to, you know, that I just basically, that I have to... Approve of this that I have to completely submit myself on knees in front of the Moscow that this is what it is, this is this is it. Man, Lavrov Medvedev loved none country other than Thailand. If Medvedev would only provide the truth about how many times he visited Thailand, he, this guy spent always time in Thailand. They adored in Asia no country other more than Thailand. As to if Thai royals would affiliate with anyone in a Slavic world between the Poles, Ukrainians and Russians and uh, Slovenes and Croats and all this, for them, number one choice was none other than Russia. Russia was the thing. And the second one was in Serbia and Montenegro. That's what that was. So that's all I wanted to stress about this uh, how they work, how basically how they operate, because this is this is uh, the way they operate is 
if you go, if you go and you, this woman was involved in MK Ultra, this young look was involved in MK Ultra. Uh, if you would go and you would research, uh, basically, you would not find, you're not going to find on internet any kind of official state visit from King Bumibol or his son, uh, now King Maha of Thailand. You're not going to find anything about him visiting Serbia or anything like this. And they fucking visited. They visited all the fucking time. They visited all the time. I actually even doubt about the trade relations when it comes to trade relations, like like a hundred million per year or something like this. The real figures are entering there. Serbs help themselves enormously with a market, with technology, with theft of Slovenian taxpayers' money. It's through the Milan Kucha and through Borat Power. It was it was a it was a public theft. It was a robbery. It was rivers of the money that not only technology but rivers of the money that ran to the Serbia and to the Russia. Even from the European Union, as I have demonstrated and proven on also times on my new side on my blog. So they are preparing a new war. I just want to be aware who is doing it, how is doing it, who is what is. If you want to declare the war against us, I want you to pay who about bad guys. See them from far away about who and what they were for the last 33 years. I remember them from 1990, and that's all I can tell you. This is what this was about. Finally, it really doesn't matter whether Bumi Ball is still alive or is not alive. Uh, this is to demonstrate, to portray these people for what they really are. Yeah, that uh, claim that uh, Ukrainians are going to be doing uh, on a Rex Square in Moscow, they will be marching. Uh, it's how the war will end. They will bring the freedom, the liberty to the Moscow, which is... He did this shit even in front of the Lavrov. That's how smart this boomy ball was. This was an extra, extra, incredibly intelligent individual. Incredibly, incredibly individual. Incredibly intelligent. You know, in his head... He was incredibly, incredibly, incredible individual, incredibly intelligent individual, incredible individual. The man who supports the human rights, the man who is behind the conspiracies, which they benefit the humanity and so on, and was donating the money literally through the greater than Great Britain, the money he received from the British, he was donating to United Kingdom. To silence my case, he was basically bribing the United Nations with British money, with the German money, to silence my case from the Asian part of the world. This is the guy here. 